All right, so it's been about a year since I've posted really any content. Um, the bad shear is a little different. Uh, the odometer is different. The car is different. So um, I have a 2006 Cadillac uh, STS, um, and basically there is a whole story about that car. Um, I pulled this out of a field, and um, I rebuilt the motor in it uh, from the crankshaft up. And it's needed a lot of work, but I've got it to where it's running stable. Um, and it does fairly well. So with that being said, um, basically for the past year I've been gone, it's been making this thing hum. Um, there's a lot of stuff that I've done and a lot of, I guess, research and information that I've learned and, you know, different things, stuff that I kind of want to go over and post on here. Um, so what I want to do before I kind of get into this video is just kind of cover if you guys don't mind one liking and subscribing, it really helps out. I appreciate it. And commenting, um, please comment what you want to see next with either the 5610, if you want to see Cadillac content and how I built this motor, the stuff that I did, what I, you know, what I've learned in the past year, um, that kind of deal. Um, I'm more than happy to go over that and make a video about it, maybe in a little series or something like that. That way we can kind of have an idea of what we kind of want to do. Um, cause I want it to be, you know, a channel where we all learn. <laughs> um, so without further ado, and now that we're about a minute in, I'll go through here and I'm going to actually do some, I guess some of the newer functions that I can actually do with this car. So a big thing that I've seen is ABS, um, power steering and, a whole plethora of things. So we're gonna go over first the steer, uh, SRS and airbag system. So this car has had deployed airbags. Um, yes, it has a rebuilt title, um, an actual rebuild, not a rebuilt um, title. So it was inspected and everything. So you can see here, uh, you know, squibs, deployment loops that are open, stuff like that. The scanner will go through pick up a lot of that stuff um if they you know if you have high control circuits um if it's not detecting squibs if something doesn't seem correct um you know at least for the bcm and you know how it's programmed you know like deployment commanded which is an old one but same kind of deal so you'll see a lot of this stuff if you have anything you plug the scanner and you can see um i guess previous airbag events things like that and it does also read uh, permanent codes and hidden codes. So if you have a non bi-directional scanner, it won't pick up the same codes um, and it won't let you erase them. Um, with a scanner like this, you can erase the codes in it and change it. Another thing um, that I wanted to kind of go over was the ABS in this car, because Cadillac like ABS is a little different. There's a lot more to it. Um, so steering wheel co angle compare failure. Let's see, it's a history. So, and it does happen every once in a while. It just rained here a couple of days ago. So whenever it rains, you get a nice little uh, haze, I guess, on the on, on the harness for the steering wheel, and the angle on it is not happy. Uh, and it will and it'll throw a code for it. But you can take a look on here when we, if you look at the live data on it, you can see here and the SRS I believe you can also check the live data so all fuel four wheel sensors you can see uh, you can see solenoids on off positions you can check and this is all for you know just your ABS yaw sensor steering rate steering position stuff like that steering and it's not centered as we can kind of tell here um, so if we kind of go over that uh, let's take a look here there's another thing TPMS as well so you can check all of your tire, uh, pretty much everything with TPMS in it. You cannot reprogram it, um, but in the, that right rear sensor, there's not one there. <laughs> Again, cars work in progress. We've got different things I'm going to be doing here soon, um, but it'll pull up, you know, it'll even pull up battery life for this um, signal, you know, if, it, if it, it's getting any or if it's getting, you know, um, any input from those sensors as well but also it will actually keep up and you can view it in the car as well what the psi is that kind of stuff um i think oh no i didn't do srs live data that's also a thing i didn't go over that and i wanted to <laughs> um so you can see you know restraint warning indicator which that is on um because like i mentioned before there was a deployment loop on here now this is kind of limited um it might just depend on the vehicle but it looks like I only have three options here 
Another thing you can go through and do is if you check your service actuator test, we've kind of gone over that before where it tells you, you know, different test calibrations. Now, Cadillacs are a little different. So with these cars, you'll actually have, um, what that happens is when you build them or you, you know, they first start out, they go into this thing called closed loop testing. So like a crankshaft position relearn, which was necessary on my Impala, on these, it's not, you don't need that. It will learn it by itself. It'll sit there and it'll rev up and down and check all of that stuff as you drive it. And also, you know, whenever you initially start it up, that way it can reconfigure and relearn the computer to it. Um, and there's some other stuff in here. You know, you can do your fuel system, check that stuff, pulse fuel injectors. Um, I'm not gonna do that because I cold started this thing and I do not want to pulse a fuel injector when I'm not even at op temp. <laughs> um, idle alarm reset, oil life reset, that kind of deal, um, which is just basic. And the oil life reset, it doesn't actually reset the oil life. You have to still go in the vehicle settings and do it, but it'll tell you how to do it. Um, service reset, service check. This is something I like a lot. Um, it'll tell you your transmission temperature. It'll tell your oil temp, you know, your oil level if it has a sensor for it. This will stay low. Trust me, it's not. Um, <laughs> but you know, you can see oil life remaining, fluid temp, that kind of deal. Um, and that's all there is in there. Otherwise, it will scroll down. Battery and alternator test. I actually went through and used this um, bad alternator and bad battery. I had a pretty bad streak on it, and I had to replace both. So. I got a new battery and I got a new alternator and I used this to test it and I even helped a young lady out, uh, you know, that had an issue with her battery on her car go out there and I hooked this up and I ran a test on it and sure enough, her battery came back bad. And that's probably one of the most useful functions on here is you can just, you know, go through and run a battery test. You don't need to go, you know, up to your local O'Reilly's or AutoZone in order to necessarily, you know, check your battery and make sure it's running right. It's definitely not, you know, a final say or anything like that, but it, you know, it's just a little, I guess, piece that helps to put the whole puzzle together. Let's take a look here. Then we have what Cadillac OEM enhanced. That's just different scanning modules. Every, for every car I've plugged it into, it has an OEM enhanced. That's typically, it's not necessarily specific. I think it's just something Innova put on this actual scanner. Um, how fuel trimmer should idle, yeah. <laughs> um, and then that actually has to do with O2 sensors, not because basically the O2 sensors on these cars are always too close together. But if you move them apart, you lose torque. <laughs> it's kind of weird how that's set up. But um, whenever I was looking into it, it was something that I noticed uh, it, because of how the sensor readout is on it. But you can check different things on here for catalytic for that it's just an OE the OEM enhanced all it really does is it just scans um I guess for Cadillac specific codes I don't really know exactly what makes it different than the all module um, all module scan um and then you have your module selection that kind of stuff so you can go through here powertrain ECM TCM that kind of deal you can do chassis you know uh, electronic brake control module electronic suspension module because this has you can, it can manage both um, my car has electronic suspension it doesn't self-adjust or anything but it keeps track of it electronically um, and that's kind of it for some of the basics on here um, if you guys want to see any you know tests or anything like that let me know in the comments below um, like I get said uh, please go ahead and drop me a thumbs up like and subscribe on these videos um, it does really help out and then let me know what kind of content you want to see if you guys want to know how I built this thing and you know what it looks like I have some videos of that and I also have pictures and all kinds of fun stuff uh, it took me three months to build the motor in here and plenty of money <laughs> um, but I would you know I'd love to share that with you guys just kind of I guess leave that in the comments below and I think that's about it. If you want to see anything else or, you know, any more of these procedures or information on here, there hasn't been an update. If there was, I would post about it. But if you want to see any more information regarding the scan, scan tool and I guess really anything else that I can do with it, let me know. Um, and I guess if you want to see a different scan tool or different capabilities that they have, um, you know, go ahead and comment below that and maybe we'll see if I can set something up like a Patreon or something like that where, you know, I, we can have something where you guys donate in and I'll put in some money as well so I can get another scan tool from Innova and we can look at the f features of that. Um, but yeah, that should be it. Thanks and have a good one. Bye.